Welcome back to another video guys, it's me Citizen X and today we're looking at this trig key uh, S5 8 core 16 thread uh, Ryzen computer basically a mini PC. We'll do a little unboxing here and then we'll get right into the video but as you can see it comes very well packed. I mean this looks like one of those kind of PCs that you're unsure about on Amazon. Is it an unknown brand? Is it is it legit? That kind of thing. But as soon as you open up this box you're reassured by the quality of it and we've got a decent instruction manual here. You know it's full colour. It goes through the entire setup. Uh, it comes with a vase amount so it even shows you how to mount this on the back of a screen if you want to keep things tidy. And here is the goodies. This uh, this is the PC. It's, it's this small. It fits in half of the box. You get the lovely trig key logo there saying discover technology green line no idea what that means it look it looks decent though and this is it we've got two usb 3.2 ports on the front usb c and a headphone jack there as well uh, a little button to clear the cmos and a power button that lights up when it's on it couldn't get more simple it's elegant it's small it's it's so much power wrapped into such a tiny package and the best part about this 32 gigs of RAM. Turning onto the back, we've got a LAN port, USB 2, USB 3, display port connection and HDMI, as well as your DC power. Uh, now, this is fantastic. You can connect it to two monitors straight out of the box. You've got the display port connection, the HDMI connection. It's got some vents there for fans, for airflow, and again, the uh, Discover Technology Trig Key logo. Now also in the box you've got your accessories, it comes with a DisplayPort cable, it comes with a HDMI cable, it comes with everything you need to get going except for a keyboard and mouse. Now turn it over, it's, uh, you can open this up very very easy, it's four screws in each corner. So we'll quickly uh, bring up the instructions for opening up the book and go through taking this apart because you can very very easily install an SSD or hard drive in this. Um, so as I say it's just four Phillips head screws and then there's a tiny tiny tab, uh, you probably see it there, that just helps you pull this top cover off. Now you pop the cover off and look at that, it couldn't be easier. You've got the slot there for the hard drive or SSD, it shows you which way it goes in, you've got a nice little fan there cooling the RAM and cooling the other components. I've gone for a Samsung uh, 860 Evo. This is just a one terabyte SSD that I had laying around. Um, so I thought, why not shove it in this? The SSD will only go in one way, just like a hard drive. So it's got a little SATA connector, connector there for data and power. Just push that in and there we are. <laughs> it is that simple. It, it all fits together nice and elegantly. And one thing that I do love, you might be able to see it there whilst I put the screws back in, you've got the uh, quick settings buttons on the back. So if you want to get into the BIOS, it says press delete. If you want to get into the boot uh, options, it says F7. And I think that's fantastic. It really shows that TrigKey know what people are going to use this system for. They know that people are going to be going into the boot menu and the BIOS because one well, the main reason that I got this is to add it to my home lab. I want to be running servers off this thing. Now it comes with Windows and we'll jump into that in a little bit more in the video. It comes with Windows 11 Pro out the box. It runs Windows 11 Pro out the box. So no issues with trusted platform modules or any of that. But I'm going to be installing Proxmox and running Windows Server Virtual Machines, Pi Holes, Plex, Jellyfin, whatever I want on this thing. And it's more than capable. So let's hop in. Uh, and have a look at what the power drawer is, how it does in some benchmarks, and get a home lab installed on this thing. So I'm just gonna speed on through the Windows setup process here. Uh, I know it's pretty boring, but I thought I'd show it for having, you know, the sake of it, having it in, in the entire video. When we arrive at the desktop, it's all pretty standard. I check through a couple of things, make sure the Windows is reporting okay, the RAM's reporting okay, CPU's reporting okay. It all was. And here was the most impressive thing. So sitting on the desktop, it's drawing six watts of power, 6.4 watts maximum. Now living in the UK where power is quite expensive, this is one of the killer features of this little box. It's packed with power, but the power draw is small enough that you can leave this thing running 24 hours a day and it's going to cost you about four pounds a month if that so now before the benchmarking begins i start recording on obs and we can see the power draws at about 34 33 watts um between 30 and 40 watts let's say 
And now bear with me here. Uh, I've fired up the benchmarking program. So the frame rate is going to drop a little bit here because the, the machine is being stressed out to the max. So just, it's not it's not your computer. Bear with me. Uh, so I don't really care about the results of this benchmark. It's more um, it's more of a way for me to max out the CPU. It's more of a way for me to absolutely stress this machine to the max so that I can see what the power draw is when the CPU is at 100%, when the RAM is being filled, when the uh, graphics unit is being used. I want to see what is the maximum this thing will draw from the wall because let's not forget, I'm interested in using this as a server. Uh, so I want to know how much power is this thing going to use when it's plugged in 24 seven, when it's running high loads, when it's at rest, that kind of thing. So this benchmark is just a way to show that a maximum peak usage, we're looking at 55 watts peak power usage. And that is absolutely phenomenal for the amount of power this thing packs and the amount of power it draws. You're getting so much bang for your buck. This thing is gonna run fantastic as a home server, a home lab, anything like that. So I'll take away the choppy frame right now because I'm sure it's hurting everybody's head. <laughs> So there we have it, the Trigkey S5 with the 8 core 16 thread Ryzen 7 5700U. It goes up to 4.3 gigahertz. It's got 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. It comes with a 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD and you can add an SSD or a hard drive to it as I showed you simply by popping off the back, putting your SSD in and screwing it back up. Now I think this thing is going to make an absolutely fantastic home server. I think it's got enough power it packs an absolute punch it doesn't have a huge power draw and that is the biggest thing for me i want i want power but i don't want it to draw uh, a ton of energy because energy costs money i priced up an old hp uh, z440 um 14 core server the other day x enterprise stuff and that was going to cost about 50 pounds a month just to run um, so that's where this thing really comes in. It might cost a little bit up front, but you're going to be saving every month on power. I did the calculations and running this thing for 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, costs about four pounds a month, if that. So let me know what you think, guys. Do you want one of these? Have you seen these around before? Uh, let me know. Subscribe if you haven't. Like the video if you haven't. Dislike it if you disliked it. And uh, stick around. See you in the next one. I'll be installing Proxmox on this, getting some virtual machines up and running. So maybe I'll make a couple of tutorials on that. Drop me a subscribe, hit the bell notification, and thank you for watching.